Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Mumshad Manambeth. I will walk you through getting started with Playable. So for those of you who are listening to me for the first time, Playable is an Ansible playbook generation tool that I had been working on as a fun project. It's in its very early stage. It's in the alpha version, as I would like to call it. And it's basically used for generating Ansible playbooks, custom modules, and testing playbooks and custom modules. So in this demo, I'm going to walk you through getting started with the tool. So that's basically downloading and running the tool in your private environment. So there are two versions of the tool. One is a demo version, ansibleplayable.com. So if you open a browser and go to ansible-playable.com, you will get to see this live demo of the tool. This is basically just a demo. You can still play around with it. You can log into the tool. You can create project, create playbooks, create custom modules, etc. But you just cannot execute the playbook or run tests. You're free to go through the website and play around with it. So the other version, which is the private version, which is the original intent of the tool, is when you host it yourself internally. The easiest way to get started is to use Docker. As you see it on the web page, you could run the docker run command to easily host it in your internal environment. If you are not using Docker, you'll have to go through this process of downloading the source code and building and deploying it yourself. All the instructions for that are available in the readme file on the GitHub page. So search for ansible-playable on GitHub and you will find the source code repository for this. And there you will find instructions on downloading the source and building it yourself. So going back to the Docker process, in order to get started, you basically need a system with Docker installed on it. So for those of you who have not worked with Docker, um, it doesn't really matter. Docker is just used to host the tool. So you just need a system with Docker installed on it. If you do not have a system with Docker installed on it, um, go to the Docker website. Go to docs.docker.com and uh, go to the select the install Docker page. And here you have instructions to install Docker, both a community edition and an enterprise edition. If this is the first time you're trying Docker, then you may want to choose the community edition. So select Docker CE here for community edition and choose your um, operating system of your flavor. So I'm going to go with Debian and then I just follow uh, these instructions in this page one by one to install Docker and get it working. So I'm going to go back. So this is my system and here I have, if I run Docker, I should be able to see the help menu appear. So that indicates that Docker is installed. So all that you need to do is run the docker run command. So sudo docker run mmumshad forward slash ansible dash playable. That's the docker image name. mmumshad is my user account and um, mmumshad is my repository and ansible playable is the image the Docker image name. Uh, but before you run this, remember to add a port mapping. Uh, this is so the, uh, the port inside the Docker container may be mapped to your external port. So I'm going to, uh, um, I'm going to map port 8080, which is the port that, uh, where the web server is hosted inside the Docker container. And I'm going to map that to port 80 on my local host on my system, which is the Docker engine. What it does is it basically maps the web server port inside the Docker container, which is 8080 to the port 80 on my local host. Uh, this way I can simply access the website without having to type in the port number. If port number 80 is already used, feel free to use a different port instead of that. On hitting enter, Docker goes out and pulls and downloads the Docker image. Um, 
we'll just give it a few minutes for it to download the entire Docker image. As you can see, once the download is complete, the web server starts up. If you see the message, Express Server listening on 8080 in production mode, that means the server is up and running. You should now be able to access the tool from a web browser. So I'm currently using a Google Compute instance so I'll use the external IP of that instance to access the web server. You can do the same with any system. Uh, so there you go. This is the welcome page or home page of the tool. And now you're all set to explore and play around with it. So just to highlight, this is a proof of concept implementation and is in its alpha version. This is only to be used in testing purpose and not to be used in production strictly. So for any issues, please feel free to reach out to me, raise a, an issue on the GitHub repository page. Thank you very much for your time.